Hey everybody, time for a bit of an update uh, and some questions. So this is what I'm winding down to. This is all I really got left to do for the Blue Goth Army. I have five more regular boys, chop, Slugger Chopper boys to paint. Um, the other 25 from the second unit of 30 are done, so that means I've painted, what is that, 65 Slugger Chopper boys. There's five more to go. And uh, yeah, these, this unit happens to be base rimmed in Caliban Green. I'm gonna separate them out. Yeah, so that's those guys. I've got Makari is what I've been working on right now, and you can see he's pretty close to being done. Really, all I have to do is just finish up the skin and the teeth, which the teeth doesn't look like it's gonna be very easy. And then Gazzy himself. And yet, I don't really anticipate Gazzy taking a whole lot of time because, I mean, essentially it's just black armor. I mean, it's not. How much more detail can I really do on him? Make sure everything's highlighted. But there's not a whole lot of detail. It's just armor and metal and a little tiny bit of skin showing. That's why I left the arms off so I can actually do the skin. Because so I think just that even a little bit of the light blue skin poking through all this black armor will be absolutely fantastic looking. But anyway, so we've got Gazzy. And that is it. And that's it. That's what I have left to paint currently for this army. <laughs> Notice how I said currently. Because I'm actually thinking about adding something else. I'm not exactly sure what. I do have some things that I've thought about and I just want to make the army a little more enticing. Um, so basically I've got four options of what I could add to the army and they're all basically vehicles. I've got more than enough infantry. I mean I've got 70 boys, 30 grots, tank busters, lutas. I really don't need any more infantry. Um, you know I could do a unit of knobs because I do have two sets of knobs, or I do have this, the knobs that came out of the uh, Prophecy of the Wolf box. I could do the Mega Knobs. That's an option. Mm -hmm. What I really want to do is I want to add 10 Shooter Boys. Yeah, I know they're not very goffy, but some people want to have Shooter Boys or maybe even mix them in to the other units. But if just one unit of 10 Shooter Boys, I think that would be a good addition to the army. So the other thing that I'm working, thinking about if I spend $100 or so, I think I can have winged that. Can I get that value back out of it when I sell it? So the first option I'm thinking was getting a start collecting box. That would give me a Dreadnought, and I think that would be a good addition to the army. Um, with two magnetized arms and two Scorches, so two close combat weapons. And then the other, other, other hard points would be magnetized two Scorches or two other close combat weapons. Um, and a pain boy, as well as the 10 shooter boys. So a start collecting box is one option to give the uh, Dreadnought. I think the Dreadnought is very gothy, more than anything else. Um, the next option would be two mech guns. I'm only 50 bucks each, and I got the Cromlech one, but I don't really want to sell the Cromlech one in with the army. I want to keep this as much replicatable and GW as possible, just to make it easier to sell. So I think two mech guns is an option. Mostly magnetized, but again, mostly smasher guns. It's really just still the best option. Um, another option would be two scrap jets. I think two megatrack scrap jets would be a very good addition to the army, especially being goff with the uh, 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 custom job where they get to attack twice. I think it gives you eight attacks. Um, chances to explode with power fists. Uh, so I think two scrap jets would be a good option. Um, a flyer would be is the next thing I'm thinking about. Uh, is, is just a flyer, maybe you know, magnetize it up to be either a burn a bomb or a daca jet. The WAS bomb is a little bit harder to magnetize up, but I think either going to the daca jet or burn a bomb magnetized um, is another good option. So those are the four four things I'm contemplating: the start collecting box, two mech guns, two scrap jets, or a flyer. And I just want to see if I can get any options. Or should I just forget it? Maybe just add 10 Shooter Boys from what I already have. I could do the 10 Shooter Boys and 3 Mega Knobs pretty easily. I think, but I don't know if I really need more infantry. The Mega Knobs is definitely goffy. Or the Knobs. 5 Knobs with uh, like just a... 1 Kill Saw, 1 Power Claw, and then 2, and then 3 with Slugga. With uh, Big Choppa and Choppa. But... Uh, yeah, I'm not exactly sure. I just want to add one more little thing to actually to both increase its competitiveness 
and make it more enticing to a buyer. And I think any of those, I think the best option would be the two scrap jets or the flyer, but definitely Met Guns is a competitive uh, addition to the Army. And they're all about the same price, of course. So let me know what you think below. So hopefully this weekend I will be able to get these six guys done completely, leaving me just gazzy to paint, which I will be working on next week. So that's not much of an update. Not, I'm, just show, I'm not going to show off anything because I want to save those for when it's all done, but uh, obviously. But for now, yeah, let me know what you think in the comments below. I might also put a poll up on Twitter as to what would be a good addition for this army. And thanks for watching.